Eric George was third last year. We got to see. No, he's fourth. Oh, he's yes. fourth. Oh, okay, so we got to see what your time compared to George is. So, what were you saying about that earlier? I'm trying to ride George off my wheel on a flat road. It's never happened. That was a joke, right? No. That was. Dead serious. You see? My position I, 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 in fourth place, Matt Zimmer, Gateway Harley Davidson. Matt. In third place, Matteo Jorgensen, Jelly Belly. Otto. In the Valley of the Sun stage race time trial. Congratulations, guys. Good job. stem place and it's small enough. Stage two. <laughs> I understand that one. Have fun man. And we're off. Day two of the Valley of the Sun stage race. Pretty tough course. Uh, we had a pretty good plan, a good plan rolling into this. Dennis, we're neutral here. And right when the flag dropped, we made the right hand turn. Dennis attacked and started the breakaway of the day. We're already single file, people trying to get across because they knew it was a big threat. I think it started with about 15 guys and worked its way up to, I think over 20. And we had five guys in the move. I was sitting fourth GC and Brett was eighth, so we thought there was a chance Brett would be able to sneak away into that group unnoticed since basically the top five GC guys, we were all just watching each other and no one would let anybody get more than 10 seconds off the front. So here we are going into the uphill finish. It's like 3K to go. You can see one of the GC threat, Corey, he attacked. He was sitting second overall, so Everyone obviously reacting to that kind of a move because it's dangerous and nobody wants him to put time into anybody here. So we're kind of chasing him up the hill. And this hill's pretty tough. It's like, it's only like three or 4%, but it was a slight head crosswind and it just drags on forever. You think you're at the top and it kind of plateaus a little, but it's just a false flat uphill all the way through the feed zone to the finish line. So right off the bat, the strong guys are coming to the front, lap one, trying to get something to go. We just passed the 1K banner. And I, I wasn't willing to work with this. I wasn't trying to help him gain time as that doesn't help me as I was sitting in fourth. So I was willing to let him just pull. You can see here's the breakaway. It's just massive, 20 guys. And we had five guys in the break with Brett, so we were perfectly content. Here I am in the chase group, just sitting on. You can see we only have, I don't know, three or four seconds on a strung out field coming at, coming at us. So I, I knew it wasn't anything serious, but we just had to be represented in it. So, and here we are back to chasing the break. It was an interesting race. The break, they said they had four minutes on us and the time gaps were kind of all over the place. And I was thinking to myself, it was a done deal. Um, but here I am in a chase group. Uh, coming up the feed zone. I think the third time we had two laps to go or three laps to go and I was helping helping work with them for a little bit. Um, one of the guys was sitting third overall just in front of me so uh, I just helped rotate the first couple of minutes to help establish the break from the field and after that I just I just sat on and um, kind of just was the gatekeeper telling guys when to pull. You can see here I'm already already doing that job which pissed off some people but obviously it's not my job to bridge up to the winning break or bridge up to the breakaway of the day when I have five guys up there and I don't want to take another GC threat with me up there so I think we lasted about two laps and the officials kept telling us our gap was two minutes on the field and then a couple minutes late and then three minutes to the break so I kind of thought we were just in no man's land for the rest of the race and lo and behold uh, the field caught us, or what was left of the field. I think the field split one of the times up the hill, and you can see we're already back together. And it just, 
the field must have just been shattered. It's a pretty tough race, um, especially being early in the season. A lot of guys are coming from cold weather, and this is their first or second time riding outside in a couple weeks, so it's definitely a tough course, and this here we are going up the... This is the final lap. Uh, the breakaway did stay away, and we're in a pretty reduced peloton. The attacks just keep going. I launch here, try to get something. I'm not a true sprinter, so I knew I had to kind of soften up the field a little if I was going to have any chance of winning this field sprint. So I attack and a bunch of guys jumped on. So I'm kind of using the whole road. And you can see I let off because they hopped on immediately and it's a, it's just a drag. Heart rates, heart rates jacked up and everyone's kind of on the rivet. You don't know which, which attack's going to finally stick. So I kept giving it a couple digs. Here we go again. I attack and just try to hold on but I don't make it get caught and go again but the breakaway did stick my teammate Brett got third a uh, group of two guys that were pretty much on mark because they weren't a threat originally to the GC ended up going one two and so Brett got third I think we finished I don't know two minutes behind them but yeah kind of an interesting day of racing and Happy for Brett to get third and move up in GC a little. Um, here we are coming to the line. It was just a drag of a sprint, two meter, 200 meters to go, and I just barely got the guy at the line there. So, pretty fun day, and yeah, you can see here comes Brett winning, winning that break, breakaway field sprint, and you can just see it's just demolished. So, good day overall. Team raced really well, just the results just weren't really there, but... Um, we got the crit the next day, and we'll see if we can uh, get a stage one there.